Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, as we stand here, some of us, and sit here, some of us, it's, uh, it's worthwhile, I think, assessing where we are and how we got here because it contains important lessons for where we're going and how we're going to get there. This horrible designation wasn't removed gradually. Oh, it took a lot of effort. And it took the death of some of the people in Ashraf. And it took the persistence of Mrs. Rajavi and the persistence of the people on this stage and your persistence. But it didn't happen gradually. When it happened, the listing was there one day and it was gone the next day. There's nothing gradual about that. And that's not an unfamiliar experience in the spread of freedom. The Berlin Wall was there one day and then one day it wasn't. It took a lot of effort, it took a lot of pressure, but it didn't happen gradually. The people in the State Department, our State Department, keep urging that we do things gradually. They were the gradualists. They were the people with the, the, the small view of life and the technical arguments and all the reasons why you couldn't. And they remain the gradualists today. Imagine going gradually from driving on the left-hand side of the road to driving on the right-hand side of the road. All you, can, all you can assure if you do that is that a lot of people are going to get killed. When it happens, it's got to happen decisively and swiftly. And it's going to happen decisively and swiftly because the pressure is building. And it's building among you and it's building among the people in Iran, and it's building among the people who are now in Camp Liberty, and it's building in Syria, and it's building among all freedom-loving people in the world. You know, the spirit that brought this about, that brought about the, the delisting, is really something that comes from both your tradition and ours. And so, um, I'm actually going to give a a coin to each of the people on this stage for them to carry as a reminder of what they did and what remains to be done. And on one side of that coin is a familiar figure, familiar, a f figure familiar to you, the lion that has been the symbol of, the ancient symbol of Iran, and the words of a great Farsi poet, and I'm sure I'm going to mangle the Farsi, so please, please be patient with me. The words in Farsi are Bani Adam Azaya Yektigaran. Um, those are the words that are inscribed in English in the entrance hall of the United Nations, and it means of one essence is the human race. And that was a very important way that we got here. On the other side is an American Eagle and some words from our history. And they're words from the inaugural address of one of our great presidents, his second inaugural, Abraham Lincoln, in which he described how we were going to go forward after the Civil War. And one of the memorable phrases he used was, with firmness in the right. And that's how we've acted up until now. And that's how we're going to go forward. So, of one essence is the human race, and if we act with firmness in the right, we will see Mrs. Rajavi, and we will see all of you in a free Tehran. Thank you very much.